the predator and prey dynamic of an Amur tiger and a red deer. The Amur tiger currently lives in northeastern China and southeastern Russia. The main factors affecting the species is prey abundance and availability, and they are currently listed as an endangered species. Our goals for this project are to determine how the caloric demands of the tiger determine their hunting frequency. We will show that the fluctuations in deer weight between seasons can affect this frequency as well. Finally, we will explain how their hunting frequency and therefore caloric intake determine their range due to prey population density. Emerald tiger, Panthera tigris alteca, are carnivores isolated to the Seacoat Island Mountains in the far east Russian wilderness. Their main diet consists of ungulates such as red deer. While males and females differ in weight and length, they are considered the largest known tiger species. Red deer, Cervasus alephus, are herbivorous ruminants occupying a large portion of the Euro-Asian wilderness. Their distribution, while small in the Amur tiger region, are the main diet for these tigers, due to their size. The deer weight varies largely between seasons. Here are the caloric demands for male and female tigers. The calculated free metabolic rate for a male tiger is 10,164 kcals per day and 7,513 kcals per day for females. Predation consumption rate was calculated using an average deer weight of 140 kilograms and a nutritional value of 120 kcals per 0.1 kilogram of raw deer meat. On average, a male tiger will need to eat 8.4 kilograms per day and a female will need to eat 6.3 kilograms. The changes in seasons decrease the food availability for the red deer. There is less edible plant matter in the winter months, so they eat very little, but they compensate in the summer by gaining weight back. We measured each season as half a year for these calculations. The food shortage fluctuates the red deer weight significantly, decreasing by over half during the winter. This in turn decreases the food availability for tigers. Since only 49% of the red deer is actually edible for a predator, each red deer they hunt is giving them a lot less calories in the winter months compared to the summer. The true impact of this weight fluctuation can be seen in how many prey each tiger would have to kill per season. The number from winter to summer is almost triple. Tigers are known to be solitary hunters. Unfortunately, the Siberian tiger suffers from one of the lowest prey densities in addition to having to traverse a large range. These tigers must also compete with hunters who also hunt the red deer. Tigers from the northern portion typically have a larger consumption rate than the tigers from the southern area. This is most likely attributed to having a high environmental stresses. To add to this, during winter months the tiger must also consume more prey to maintain a minimum consumption rate. In maintaining this minimum consumption rate, it has been observed that tigers are killing smaller and smaller prey not normally eaten.